bunch of people behind me. They're right here at the Slider Inn on uh, Peabody in the, in the corner of Cooper. They're all here to celebrate the folks of Boston. Now, earlier, there was a run to honor the folks of Boston, and the turnout was so great, they sold out from these uh, awesome t-shirts, as you can see, that I have one on, Run for Boston. It was so amazing, uh, the support, everyone there, and all the proceeds that were made at the run, and also for tonight, everything is going to go for the victims of the Boston bombings. We want to run together tonight as a show of solidarity. That's why we're here. More than 300 people showed up at Overton Park, all ready to run or walk 2.62 miles to honor the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings. Every bit of money we raise today is going to go to the one fund uh, benefiting the victims of the incident in Boston. Barry Robertson owns Breakaway Memphis Running Store and organized Friday's running event. Hundreds of Memphians came out to support Boston. They either bought a t-shirt or they gave a donation. Full Breakaway Running is an amazing uh, organization. They put this together so quickly and really appreciate their support. Jenny Silk ran the Boston Marathon for the past four years. She crossed the finish line 45 minutes after the bombs went off. Even though she's home, she can't stop thinking about the people of Boston. My brain is on a continuous loop of confusion, realization, terror, anger, and then sadness just over and over and over again. That support, unity, and love is what Memphians want to show the city of Boston. Just get them support and just tell people, the runners in the uh, um, marathon, that we actually love them and we, we feel their pain. We have a wonderful, loving, caring community here in Memphis, Tennessee.